Hey guys, Xmod here. Um, just thought I'd make a quick video uh, about making packages for the PS3. Um, just keep in mind, I'm not a pro. Um, just fiddled with that for a while and finally got it going. So I thought I'd share the information, uh, make a little video, and maybe get some of you guys going as well. Um, so just download the package down there. Uh, the link is under the video for PS3 Acid, which is an all-in-one package to play with packages for the PS3 basically. Uh, once you're done you'll get a little uh, WAR file, extract that to a working folder. Um, so I'm extracting it, PS3 Acid, keeping it within the same folder. Um, and basically click the PS3 Acid exec icon, get that going, and you'll get a little uh, prompt that opens up like that. Um, start by installing your uh, environments um, is what they call it. Uh, basically choose zero and you'll see um, you'll have three files to install. Start with one and, and once that is done go with two and once that is done go with three and once all that is done just choose four to set the environment variables uh, and then choose five to come back to the menu. Once that is done before you do anything else click on your my computer icon go to properties and within properties go to the advanced tab and go to environment variables at the bottom here system variables uh, go to scroll down to pat and click edit and what you want to put in there is the pat for what you just installed so it's going to go c colon slash msys slash 1.0 slash bin just click ok on that ok on that and ok on that um, again, just reminding everybody, I fiddled for a while with this, uh, managed to get it going, I'm not a pro, I might be doing some things wrong, some people might f be better at this, um, they're more than, I'm more than happy for them to jump in with a better video, uh, I'm just doing this to get some of you guys going like I did. Um, so at this point you'll be ready to start extracting packages and whatnot, um, so I'm just going to grab a, um, a homebrew package that was made, an FTP server for the PS3. I'm going to bring it in my working folder. And just to make this easy, I'm going to rename it again, just to make it easy. I'm going to rename it FTP. And we're going to go ahead and go back to our window and we're going to extract the package. So unpack package number three. It's going to ask me if I want to work in a different folder. I'm going to say no and it's asking me for the name of the file ftp.package enter successfully extracted now if we go back to our folder and you'll see at the bottom here that ftp was extracted if you go inside you'll see the icon ftp and you got your usb directory with your eboot and your param sfo file with the information from the package um, get the uh, other tool that's going to be in the link also it's called ps3 sfo edit to start that it has these two little annoying windows but it still starts don't worry and basically load your sfo file that you just uh, created All right, give me two seconds here it's three the package tool FTP SFO. And here you're gonna have the title ID and the name of what this is gonna be called. You can change a few things in here. The only thing that's important to remember is the title ID. If you change anything here, you will need to remember what you put. Um, right now I'm gonna keep it at what it is to make it easy, so it's FTPD one two three four five and it's called FTP uh, PS3 FTP server so if you were to change anything you would save it um, and replace your, the, the one that you have once that is done go back to your working folder um, and I would suggest to bring everything within the working folder so if you change the icon if you change the param everything is saved just cut that and paste it in the working folder so everything's always in the same folder 
Now you're going to create your config file for the package, which is number 8. Press enter. Now it's asking for the content ID. Um, like I said earlier, this was important to remember. Uh, the first uh, six characters are not that much important, so we're going to go ahead and xmod ft. That's six. Your dash and the content ID, which I told you to remember, was ftpd one two three four five underscore zero zero dash and then you need 16 digits doesn't really matter what it is so I'm just going to put random numbers here just to get going and I'm going to press enter and it's going to uh, just enter on that too um, you basically you want this to be a free package obviously enter let's see, game exec enter and the version of the file is put 01.00 enter package file successfully created and then we're going to generate the package so repack game application number 9 enter continue generating package file package file successfully generated and there you go package files at the bottom so like I said nothing too pro nothing too deep just basically a quick overview of how I got it going. Hopefully it gets some of you guys going. If you got any questions, feel free to ask in my channel. And I'll try and answer if I can. Thanks guys.